Uh, now, Marcus Alonso has scored more goals in the Premier League than Paul Pogba. And he doesn't dab, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he's, uh, <laughs> he has had. I mean, when he first arrived, I have to say, I thought, OK, we'll see what goes on here. Um, what kind of a signing is this? But wow, boys. I mean, he has been magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Not just defensively, but here scoring goals. Yeah, he gets in that final third. And we saw last week when the nerves were jangling a little bit, the vital goal that he got at Bournemouth. Fantastic free kick. Similar to that one, but Both obviously a little bit lower. Both of those hit the crossbar. And then last weekend... He does this. Gets it right. He gets it yeah. right. Yeah. And, and, you know, he's, but he's... He's had his sighter, the two goes before, and that one was right in the back of there. And we needed that last week because we were just sort of stumbling a little bit in the game. Important and uh, period, it was an important it? time to score. Killed mm. Bournemouth, Bournemouth on and went on to win the game quite And also, just, I don't think we should underestimate what we have in terms of our shooting options from that side of the box. Because I think you can actually find yourself in a position that you can be a bit predictable. Yeah, absolutely. But for me, you know, we spoke about Alonso when he first came and I was confident that he would do a good job because yeah. I'd seen enough of him playing for Bolton, yeah. you know, under, under uh, Owen Coyle, I think, or sorry, um, Sam Allardyce yeah. there. And for a really young player, I thought he adapted to this country really, really well, well. Yeah. and not playing in a great team. So yeah. I thought he was half decent. So I'm not surprised how well he's done it. Uh, brilliant stuff, boys. OK, that's it from the three of us for now. We're back in about 15 minutes' time as the build-up build kick-off continues. Don't move a muscle. We'll see you soon.